All right then, gang. So currently, when a new user signs up for the first time, we set up their new document inside the Brews collection in Firestore with some dummy data. And we can see that dummy data right here. We see new crew member, this strength of 100, which is why it's a light brown, and it says takes zero sugar. So every new crew member or every new member of this app is gonna have that dummy data. Now, it would be nice if each user could update their own preferences and data so that it can be reflected here on the home screen. And that's what we're going to start to do in this video. Now, the way I'd like to set this up is to have a cog button in the top right up here somewhere in the app bar, which when clicked shows some kind of pop-up panel from the bottom of the screen. Now that panel should have a form inside it whereby a user can update their own data, their name, how many sugars they want and the strength of their coffee. So we're going to tackle the first step now by creating this bottom pop up when a user clicks on a button up here. Now in Flutter, this bottom pop up thing has a special name. It's called a bottom sheet and there's a function built right into Flutter that allows us to show one of these pretty easily. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. So the first step is to actually create some kind of icon in the top right over here inside the app bar so that when we click on that, we can show this bottom sheet. So to do that, we know we have to go inside this actions list right here and we need to add in another action after this flat button right here. So let me do a comment right there and create another flat button dot icon. So this thing right here and inside this, we can specify a couple of things again. First of all, the icon itself. So that's an icon widget and then we say icons dot and we're going to use the settings icon which is like a little cog. We can see a preview of that right here. So that's the icon we're going to use and this should be singular not plural. And the next property is going to be the label and that will be a text widget and inside we'll just say settings like so. And then finally we need an unpressed property which is going to be a function and this function is just going to basically invoke another function that we're going to create up here in a second so let me just do this on one line using an arrow and the function we're going to create is going to be called underscore show settings panel okay now we've not created this function yet so let's go ahead and do that so up at the top we're going to create the function inside the build method itself so I'm gonna return here and the reason we do this is because I need access to this context. So I'm now gonna create this function. It's a void function, it doesn't need to return anything and it's called show settings panel. Now this function inside is actually just going to invoke a built-in function into the Flutter library and that function is responsible for showing a bottom sheet. So this is built in and all of the functionality comes wrapped up inside it. So the way we do this is by using the function show modal bottom sheet. Now inside here we have to pass in two parameters. First of all the context, these are named parameters and that is equal to the context we get inside the build method right here. And the second parameter is the builder and the builder is just a function and this is the thing that actually builds a widget tree or template that will sit inside the bottom sheet itself. So we're not returning code to build up the bottom sheet, that's already kind of created for us inside this function. What we're doing is creating a builder function that returns a widget tree or template that will sit inside the bottom sheet. So eventually this is going to be our form to update a user's preferences. Now. This function is gonna take in the context like so, and then inside this, all we need to do is return a widget tree. Now for now, we're just gonna return a container like so, and inside that container, I'm gonna add some padding. Now I'm just gonna paste this in, so you don't have to watch me type it out, but it's just a symmetric padding, and in the vertical direction, 20 pixels, horizontal, 60. The next thing we need is a child property and we'll just use a text widget for now to say bottom sheet. Now obviously we're not going to just put text in it eventually, we'll use a form or something here. But for now I just want to demonstrate how to get this bottom sheet up and running. So now we have this show settings, oops and I've spelled that incorrectly, show settings panel function which we're invoking down here when we click on this icon and now we can see that icon right up here it says settings with a little cog so when we click on this now it's invoking this function up here which in turn is calling this function that function 
shows the bottom sheet and then this builder property right here this function returns a widget tree to show inside that bottom sheet at the minute it's just a container with some padding and a text widget as the child so let me save this and go to settings and now we can see we get this bottom sheet right here showing slides up and slides down when we click off it in the darker area okay so that is the bottom sheet done now in the next video what i want to do is create some kind of form that is going to go inside this bottom sheet that a user can use to update their preferences